Hello my friends, uh, today I'm going to make a follow-up video uh, regarding the SQL database via the JBTC. So last time I did a video for reading data from the database and recently I found some people want to have a function to write data to the database. So. I'm trying to do that. So basically, you can find the documentation on Google uh, 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 Skypes. So there, there is a API documentation for this uh, JBDC. Here, uh, they have some examples here to help us to write the data to the database. So basically, I use this demo code here. Okay, I think we can get started. First, uh, let's have a look at my database. I created a, a very simple a database uh, here. As you can see, I have a test table here and uh, some data. I only have four columns of data. We can have more. And. Uh, First, I'm going to add the headers. I create a new table in my spreadsheet. I only need to have the header. Make sure the headers are the same uh, with your database. So the headers must be the same with your database. So you can add, the, add your data. I just do some uh, fake data here. Address a permit ID, something like that. And another new more one, I think it's a cat. ID. Okay, so we got the data, uh, our uh, data set set ready. I'm going to Add one more function. Go to the script editor. Okay, here I have the function to read read the data from the table, and I want to add a new one, so I'm going to add an item. Uh, this one I'm going to rename it to read uh, read data from table. This one, write data to table. Function name, I'm going to copy, paste, and write, write, write to table. This function is not defined yet. So, next step, we're going to define this function. Uh, I'm going to create a new file. So write data. Okay. So we call this new file. Uh, I don't want to uh, to rewrite this code because I already mm. test the code. So I'm I'm going to copy copy my code here already I tested this, all this code I was going to ex explain all this stuff to you no 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 this is the wrong one right table oh no 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 yes this is the correct code so okay but I'm going to explain this code to you line by line okay first I'm going to so basically, I only write a new function to write the data to your database. So here, basically, uh, get the get your your credential information, your host, your user your username and the password like that from the details sheet here. Okay, and your database name, username, password, and port number, and table name. 
go all of this and uh, build the URL with all this information in this host port and uh, this SQL uh, this SQL is is not uh, needed anymore because this is for read data from the uh, the table so here I am going to delete that and uh, so basically we got the URL this URL is, is used to get a connection here as you can see here, I'm going to get a connection to your database. So once you get this ready, and then you need to retrieve the data from your, your Google Sheet. So data, I, get a, I have another function to get the data from your Google Sheet here, the import data. So this function will get the data from this sheet. And let me show you the get data function. So this get data function will do two things for us. First, it will have the very important things here is it will uh, provide us a string like this. So all this information in the header, this is very important. You will see you will see it later. So get the first name, last name, email department, and the values with question marks here. So basically, I got the the header here in in the row one. So the data data zero is row one. So I'm going to join uh, these headers to a string like this. And the header string, and uh, put the question marks here. So if I run this function, uh, let me save this first. If I run this function, because I have a log here, you will see the result. Okay. Check the log. Check the log. Okay. As you can see, here's a header stream uh, with the headers here and the values. And if you if you have four header headers and you have to have four question marks if we have more columns there you are you are gonna uh, get a more uh, question marks and headers there so and uh, it's going to return the data we, we are going to we are need to write it to the database so we have two lines uh, this is one and this is second okay so we basically get the data we need and return this data as a as array so okay so I will here I will get the header string in the array uh, in position 2 right so and the data in position 1 okay so next uh, we are going to get the connection with the URL a password uh, your username and password so so all this and here the code from i think it's from the google's documentation so here as you can see it said it's auto commit to force i don't know why because i'm uh, a newbie to this uh, jbdc stuff and uh, here because he, uh, he here is example he went to to write 500 rows so here he has a loop here uh, to iterate the 500 times. So here, uh, basically, I just uh, rewrite this code because I all the all the data we have is in in this sheet, and I just get the data from with this function, the get data function. So all the data I put it in in this uh, variables data. So I'm going to loop through this data row by row so for row in this data and uh, for each columns in in the single row I will need to set a string uh, so if you see the set string is very uh, important if you see the example uh, here so basically this string means uh, this database 
they they got two columns to to write data. So here's the first one and the second one. So here has that strings for these two columns. So this is the first one, this is the second one. But in my in my example, I have four columns. So basically, uh, for each row, I will have four columns. So I gonna loop each columns to set their values, set their strings, and uh, add batch. So update the batch and uh, commit close the connection. So this code is from Google's example or this code. Okay. So all after that, if if there is nothing wrong, I will get my data uploaded to your database. So let me so let us try this code. Save it. I'm going to rename my project my SQL. By the way, uh, uh, this function is only uh, it's it only works for my SQL for MS SQL. It doesn't work. I don't know why. Uh, I just didn't have a chance to test it because I don't have a a free database. A free MS SQL database. JBDC. Okay. Refresh. So I'm going to try to retrieve the data first. Read the data. So it works, and I'm going to I'm going to import these two uh, two items to our database. Try this. So read data from table. Something wrong. Oh, I think I didn't didn't change uh, something wrong something wrong something wrong right to table right to table right to table So let me read it again to see if it works. No, something wrong. Close this one. Close now. I check my script. Something's going wrong. Just let me check. Okay, white. White data. White to table. White to table. Try it here. Right to table. Okay. Zero. Let me see the log. Two rows. Read from the table again. Okay, so as you can see here, I got two new lines uh, because I just write this data to table from this import data, and I, I I read all the data from the table again. So it gives me the new lines. If I try to add some new stuff here, uh, something. Hello. Hi, is this a name? I don't think so. It's my family name. Family name. One, two, three. 
Gmail. Two two three Gmail. None. None. Okay. Let me try. So write data to table. Okay. And read data from table. Okay, so it goes, goes a lines here. So I think uh, that's all I want to show you today regarding this uh, this topic. So you can so now you can read data from your database and write data to your database. I think this um, will be a very good tool for the people who, is, who, who works with the database a lot every day. It's okay. I'm going to stop the video here. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.